Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here and today we're going to show you guys how you can start better using your Qualtrics account. Specifically, we're going to go into how you can start creating individual surveys. Now, Qualtrics provides two ways that you can do this, one through templates and another through Scratch. So in this tutorial, we're going to go over how you can create a project through Scratch. So, first things first, as you can see, we're just currently on our homepage where we already have a list of our projects down here. What we're going to first do is head over to the button on the upper right corner that says create project. So just click the. This will then bring us to the catalog page. And from here, we're going to create a survey from scratch, which will be the first option you see when you create a project. Then once you click it, it'll give you some details on what this project basically provides, what features it might have, what's included, what it's best used for. And once you're happy with what you're reading, you can just hit, hit get started. So first things first, you're going to need to create a title for this project. In this case, I am going to make this a summer feedback survey. And then I'm going to want to create a blank survey project. So just hit create project. And here we're immediately brought to the customer feedback survey editable page. Now, every for every survey that you make from scratch will always have this one question added automatically it's just a blank multiple question type of question so if you need it you can always delete it using this red button but if you want to use it which we might be doing in our case we can just first edit the question itself or what by asking what product did you purchase and then we're going to click to write choice one. So we're going to see a, the bag, B can be our copy, and then C can be our shirt. Okay, so that's how you add one question. Now, another thing you can do is to add other questions by heading over to the bottom right corner where you'll see the button saying add new question. So you add this, a pop-up menu will appear. And from here, you can just select any sort of question you might want to ask. Now, I haven't added any sort of identifying questions yet, so what I'm going to do is ask for their name, so what are your email, what is your email, and then we'll leave the text box as blank, and because we kind of want this to go before the actual product question, to rearrange this, you just have to click on the specific question, and then drag it up, and then maybe G-label this to question one and question two, so we don't confuse the reader. Next, we're going to add a generic rating question where they can give their opinions or how they felt about the product that they purchased. We're going to add a new question, and in this case, we're going to choose a matrix table. So here, this is a really great way so that you can create a scale question. So how did you feel about the product? Then below, we can ask about quality. And then here we'll put below average, average, above average. Here we can also talk about price and then service. So this is a way for you to get their opinions. If you want to add more options, you are going to want to select the question and then you're going to want to increase the amount of scale points. Statements refers to the amount of rows in this case. Scale points refer to the amount of columns. So if we add one more, we can even put another option which will read excellent. And then add one more scale point, which we will then oh, move down. up, 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 and then here we're going to put that. Okay, so that's one way to get some reviews for your quality press and service specifically. That's just another type of question. Let's go into another one. You can also ask for an actual text box, so please explain why you created the product as such. 
and then below it there'll be a text box so that they can then start answering or giving an actual statement about the product in their own words. Okay, so we have text box answers, fill in the blank answers, we have multiple choice, we have the matrix scale. What else can we go over? We can also go over the slider question. Now this one's going to be really interesting. So this can also be used in a similar way to the matrix question, but this one's more specific since your score will actually refer to a specific number on the right side here. So it's a bit more specific in terms of scale. And you want to give them a way to really grade your product, so we can do a similar question for this. How did you feel about the stores? And we're going to lower the amount of statements, meaning we're going to only limit it to two choices here. There's now the two options. And we're going to put cleanliness and decoration. So now they can rate it according to an actual score through the slider bar. Next, another question we're going to go over is the form field question. So this is really great when you basically want to have them input multiple text entry boxes on the right side. So we can ask me who was your server. So we'll ask for table number and server name, server ID. Here they can just fill it out themselves in the text boxes. Okay. Next we're going to go over rank order. Now this is also another way for them to give some sort of rating on the product, but whereas if, whereas the others ask them to score individually, this would then ask them to basically reorder whatever options might be given here, depending on which was better than the other. So we can ask if you purchased multiple products, which one was best? And just write back coffee, bag, shirt. Okay, so those are the generic questions, and now that we've shown you guys how you can start not only editing it through the left hand side, but also just change the options and the specifics on what each one refers to. We're not going to show you how you can preview it so you'll see what your respondent is seeing when they open the entire survey. So you hit the preview button in case you can see that over here. We have a mobile view on the right side and we have the generic desktop view on the left. So here you're going to see what they can actually start doing or interacting with a question. So let's say you want to add in your email, j at email.email.com. Which product would you pick? You can just pick one for the multiple choice. If you want to rate a product, you can do that as well. For this, you can also just slide in the slider bar. You can also mess around with it from the right hand side, see how it, they both kind of refer to each other. You then add your tab table number, maybe table number. Three, server name, Alice, server ID, 341. And then here you can drag things around, rearrange them according to the order that you like them. So those are just the basics on how to create a survey from scratch and the specifics on how each question kind of works and how you can use them. Hopefully this helps you better manage any data collection you might be doing. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you need any more help when it comes to Qualtrics, be sure to check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below. See you next time!